You'd think that with all the strange skin stuff that I post here on TikTok, this would just be par for the course. But honestly, this feels a little weird to me to show you clipping my toenails. I don't know why, if it's because it doesn't feel like it's related to the skin at all. Um, or maybe it's just because this is more like grooming versus like pedicures. I, that doesn't even make sense. I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm going to show you me clipping my toenails today because I do get this question all the time. Like, what are your toenails like? Are they normal? Can you just cut them like normal? And the answer is yes. They're, they're like an afterthought or a non-issue. In fact, they're so much of an afterthought that sometimes they get a little too long. And then I look at them one day and go, oh crap. Oh my God. I need to cut my toenails. This is gross. Um, the only thing that is unique about them related to the callus in general is that they are stronger, but they don't grow super thick. Like there are other forms of PPK that make your nails actually grow really thick um, or even grow like upward out from your body. And I don't have any of those problems, thank goodness. But they are incredibly strong, just like my fingernails. And the cuticles are also very thick and strong and they grow really fast. So I have to clip them all the time. And usually it's like an afterthought, like I said, at like I just... Suddenly I got to do them. Um, people ask often if I have ingrown toenails as a result of the callus. And that answer is kind of hard to give because like I've seen ingrown toenails before and they don't actually like grow in or cause pain. But because of the way the callus grows up the sides of them, they can appear to be ingrown. But it it, the nails aren't actually like curling in or digging in with like a hangnail. There's no pain involved at all. But you can see they kind of do curve around the sides, probably because of the thick callus pushing up on the underside of them. Oh, this one broke, so I'm just cleaning it up. Um, but yes, they do curve a little differently than probably regular toenails do, a little more sharply. But I think it's just due to the way the callus grows around them. And also, I have basically zero pinky toenail. Like, if I do a painted pedicure, there's like just a dot on my pinky, essentially. Um, and there's always a lot of callus growing all around that pinky toenail, so it's kind of not my favorite nail. I went a little too deep on this one, not like so far that it hurt, but like slightly lower than I normally would go. So that was just a mistake of getting the clippers in there really far and then realizing kind of too late, oh man, I have gone like way down to the bottom of the nail. And you can see how the callus doesn't really grow under where the nail is growing on the big toe. So there's like this big patch of like pink non-calloused skin. And then I come back in and file it just so it's not sharp. And that one was so low, I had to like do this other foot's toenail again to get it a bit lower to kind of match. And you can see that once I'm done, I mean, they just look like toes. People always ask me if I have the skin on top of my feet. And no, because this mutation only affects the palms and soles, that palmoplantar skin that's in there. And uh, don't mind my flip-flop tan lines. It's summer.